Getting to know your smartphone. There are two popular types of smartphones. These are Android and iPhone devices. Smartphones offer phone, text messaging, internet, email, a camera, maps and navigation, and other handy applications. Android smartphones use the Google operating system. Some popular brands include Samsung, Google Pixel, and Motorola. An Apple smartphone uses iOS, which stands for iPhone Operating System. There are many different versions and models of iPhones to choose from. When you access the internet from your smartphone, you are either using data or Wi-Fi. Data gives you a connection to the internet from your cell phone signal, so the amount of data you use will depend on what kind of plan you have with your cell phone carrier. With hundreds of cell phone towers across the city, you will have huge range to get access to the internet. When you use Wi-Fi, that's a connection that is from a wireless router on a network that's either public or private. A public network means that anyone can access it. A private network means that access is restricted and you may need a password to connect. You will go into settings on your phone to select a Wi-Fi network. When you select one, you will either be asked for a password if it's a private connection or it will immediately begin to connect to the network if it's a public connection. Wi-Fi is what you're using when you connect to the internet at a store, a coffee shop, or the public library. That connection has unlimited usage, so you don't have to worry about how much of it you're using or what kind of plan you have with your phone. However, the range will be more limited and will depend on how much access that particular Wi-Fi connection is going to be able to provide. For example, at Charlotte Mecklenburg Library locations, you can access Wi-Fi from anywhere inside the building and then a limited space outside and into the parking lot. It's a public connection, so no password is required.